Hi everyone, Cindy Squirrel here. Well, yeah, you get to see my face. Um, it's been a long day out in the garden. Got a lot of stuff done, but didn't know if you knew this, that, um, you know, those little black flies that, oh, they're the only things that pollinate blueberries. Bees don't pollinate blueberries. So I like blueberries. So I have to like those little, little, little tiny black flies that leave such a terrible bite and very, very itchy. And um, this is what they do to me. See that? Ouch, eh? Yeah. But they only hurt when I'm outside, come inside, wash them off. And I put my plantain salve on them, and they're not itchy anymore. Oh, I went years of just, but plantain salve, and I'll show you how to make it. Okay, so here's the plantain. That's what it looks like here. And like I said, love this plant. If you're out, uh, this grows like along pathways. Uh, beaten tracks okay so if you're out and you get a bad bite just pick it off chew it up and then put the put it on the bite and it'll take the sting away but I'm gonna harvest some today and I've done this um, I did a video on this a couple years ago but this is for the new people that are in the homesteading stuff now to dry it, the leaf will dry quicker than the stem. So cut the stem into, I just pulled it apart. You've seen how I did that. I just pulled that down, spread it open. I put it in the uh, my gas oven with just the pilot light on and I let it dry. And then we're gonna make a salve. So the first thing is to get a large pot and I put a two cup measuring cup in here and I set it on a cloth and I fill it with water. Not that the water will bubble over here. And that is what I'm gonna put my oil and my wax into. Now, there's just a few ingredients you're gonna use um, three quarters of a cup of comfrey infused oil. So, not comfrey. Well, this one's comfrey and it still has the leaves in it. So that one needs to be strained. <clears throat> but this is my plantain after it has been sitting with the leaves in it for four to six weeks. And then you strain it out and you keep the oil in a nice dark spot. Now these are the three main salves that I make. Comfrey, plantain, and dandelion. Now it depends on where I'm going to distribute this as to what name tag I put on. Some of them are Morden Hill. That's what I sell at the farmer's market. Comfrey salve. Comfrey salve. A natural healing salve that heals wounds quickly. Too quick for deep wounds, so don't use it on deep wounds. Reduces the pain and inflammation from arthritis and sore aching muscle. Helps speed up healing of minor scrapes. Now, oh, I have to say it, I am not a doctor, but these are what I use. So that's my comfrey salve. And I also have a label that says, you know, I when I made up the mabel, ma labels, I have Squirrel Mills off-grid, or Cindy Squirrel off-grid, and I have Morton Hill. So, plantain salve. Plantain, olive and coconut oil, beeswax, vitamin E, and essential oil. Now, plantain, 
a natural healing salve for soothing those bug bites and stings for calming that sunburn helps heal those scrapes and scratches eliminates dry skin and reduces the pain and swelling of rashes that's what i use that one for and it's almost empty now my dandelion salve again has more or less the same stuff in it and dandelion salve a natural healing salve for those nasty cold sores soothes and moisturizes dry cracked skin it also reduces acne and is said to have an anti-aging properties yay i should bathe in that stuff so all three salves made the same way the only thing that you might want to change out is your essential oil, um, oil. i use tea tree oil i use 100 percent pure vitamin e oil of course i use the uh this is would be olive oil in here extra virgin olive oil and back there we have our coconut oil and our beeswax i get it it's so much cheaper to buy it in the block but you know than those pellets and i just shave it up so what i'm going to do is i am going to combine my oils so that would be this oil and this oil well actually i put this in last because it takes a lot longer to melt the beeswax so i put the beeswax and the coconut oil into the pot and after it starts melting a little bit then i will add my infused oil and i will show you the next step when it's done oh you probably want to know what it is so my ratio is three quarters of a cup of the whatever oil three quarters of a cup of that a quarter of a cup of my coconut oil and four tablespoons of the beeswax now that's all you have to put in that measuring cup so it makes one cup of stuff and these tins i just get off of amazon but uh, i use my little mason jars for for me i'll be back in a flash now the person that got me hooked on comfrey my first salve didn't actually make it into a salve he um, just handed me a jar of the oil and that's as far as he went was just putting it in the oil and so you don't have to go to all this trouble of making a salve it's just that of course that's a lot oilier mm. but you know so you can just go that far and you don't have to worry about getting beeswax or getting containers or whatever just use it like that because you're just rubbing it on your skin so i'm just straining out i'm going to do my comfrey here because these leaves have been in there long enough so i'm just throwing it through a strainer to put just this pure beautiful comfrey oil and how do you like my setup there? It just leans there and <laughs> let's get every last bit of that goodness out of there. Well, the oils are all melted and this is very hot. So we're just going to let it cool a little bit. Not too much because you don't want it to solidify. And you're going to add, I just, I really haven't measured how much vitamin E oil I put in there I just put a glob and I put about eight drops of tea tree oil pure essential oil in that stirred around and then I've got my tins already and then I have my glass ones that are one's Bob's one's mine 
and of course oh God, welcome to my world yeah that's comfrey salve so i didn't make plantain but i will as soon as i'm done this and that's okay i needed more comfrey salve anyways <laughs> oh welcome to my world so there we are. It's gonna. It's hot, and I pour it into the jars. Hmm, <laughs> Bob, you didn't get any, and I only got a little bit. So that's how much that batch makes. Now you can, you know, double it, triple it, whatever you want to do. But that was easy, and it's too hot right now to be outside. So it's a good day to make salve.